Hey there, how's it going? This is a warrior guide up to level 30. This is uh, Shadowbringers 5.0. Let's get this thing rolling, shall we? At level 1, we get Heavy Swing. Delivers an attack dependency of 200. It is a weapon skill with a global cooldown. And this is basically your combo starter. At level 4, we get Maim. Uh, after your Heavy Swing, uh, this guy does uh, 300 potency. It uh, delivers with a potency of 100 without anything else. This is a weapon skill with a global cooldown. So after your, your heavy swing, go ahead and do your maim afterwards, and you're going to do 300 potency. At level 6, we get Berserk. It uh, guarantees that all attacks are critical, meaning e increasing damage by 50%, and direct hit increasing damage by 25%. This is instant cast with 9 second off global cooldown, and a duration of 10 seconds. So you pop Berserk, and you're going to do a total of 1.75 uh, total damage. Uh, basically t uh, totaling out to an insane amount. Uh, unfortunately my Berserk is different. Uh, you're gonna get it at level 6 and as soon as you have all the mobs desired go ahead and pop this guy. You definitely want to pop it after uh, after your heavy swing. Go ahead and pop it right as your maim is up. So something like in this situation where my maim is up you're gonna go ahead and pop your Berserk into your maim. That's a pretty good start. Or otherwise, uh, level 10, we're going to get overpowered. The lose an attack with the potency of 130 to all, en all enemies in a cone before you. It is instant cast with a weapon skill off uh, global cooldown. Uh, otherwise, if it is AoE, just go ahead and grab all your all your all your targets and just go ahead and pop that berserk into your overpower. Now, overpower, you're going to need a target. You're going to need a target, and you're going to make sure that the target is near you because if you're too far away. This won't be able to actually hit anything. As you notice there, I did no damage whatsoever. The cone is very, uh, very short and very wide. So right here, I should be able to hit the other two around my sides. Now, if you go too close in, you actually won't hit them. Uh, so make sure you are a sizable amount, somewhere around the melee range. So right here is a good spot. You can hit everybody. At level 10, we get the fines. Uh, this is basically just your aggro generator. Pop this guy and never take it off. This is what it looks like. At level 15, we get Tomahawk. It delivers an, a ranged attack with a potency of 140. An additional effect that gives you enmity. Instant cast with a weapon skill global cooldown. So you're going to have to use this guy to engage uh, and pull. Much like most of the other tanks, they're also going to have a version of this. So this is a great way to pick up uh, mobs from a distance. At level 26, we get Storm's Path. Uh, delivers an attack with a potency of 380 when executed after main. Uh, if you use this guy on its own, it's just going to deal 100 potency. Uh, with the combo bonus, you're going to restore health, uh, 250 cure potency, which is roughly uh, a quarter of how much damage you do. This is instant cast with a weapon skill global cooldown. And you're going to do your heavy swing into your main. So if you have your Berserk, this is a good time to pop it into your Storm's Path. At final level 30, we get Thrill of Battle. Increases maximum HP by 20% and restores the amount increased duration of 10 seconds. It is instant cast with 90 second off global cooldown. Now, your, your health goes up by 20%, but you also heal the amount that you increase. So that little gap gets healed over. And this is what it looks like. Real battle. Go ahead and pop this as soon as you have all your targets, uh, all your desired targets that you want to grab aggro. So the rule of thumb behind tanking is three mobs is a wave or or a mob set. So three is a mob set. If you have six, that's two, and if you have nine or more, that's three. If you're starting new going through MSQ, I suggest you just pick one mob set. If your healer is, is still overhealing you, perhaps pick two. But that's when these cooldowns take place. Once you've picked two or more mob sets, that's when you need, really need to realize that you have a very few number of cooldowns to use in your, the early levels. You'll also have low blow and you'll also have your interject. But really have to realize that you only really have two cooldowns. You have your Thrill Battle and your Rampart. In bed you're wondering what do you do? Well if you're picking up more than two than two mob sets, you're going to have to pop two cooldowns. But if you're just picking two mob sets, go ahead and just pop your Thrill Battle or your Rampart and then make sure that once one of those expires, that you immediately pop the next one. 
by doing this you're ensuring that the more targets you have on you the more cooldowns are, ne are necessary for you to survive that engagement and once you start losing mobs due to them dying there's really less need for cooldowns after that so right off the bat we're going to put our uh, aggro generator make sure you don't forget to put that on so typically in mob pulls, you're, you're going to make sure, we're just going to pull four here because the healer is new. So it's just the first mob and then the other ones that, that proceed afterwards. And we're just, going to, we're just going to pop our arm slinked. And as soon as that expires, we're going to pop our thrill battle into rampart. Nice and slow, take it easy. So arm slinked once I have the attention of everybody. Make sure you pop that Berserk. As soon as the arm slink expires, we're going to pop Bill Battle into Rampart. And that's pretty good right there. Just try to make sure not to pick too many targets. A good 4-5 to five targets is good in the lower levels. Once you've run out of cooldowns, you can go ahead and pop your reprisal into low blow. These are nice too. So in the single tiger rotation, you're just going to maintain one cooldown up as much as possible. But since I don't have any cooldowns right now, I'm just going to do something like a low blow. That'll stun him for 5 seconds, basically mitigating damage. What that does is it allows the healer to actually do damage instead of actually constantly healing myself, or healing me. So I'm watching for cooldowns and doing my constant. I'm going to grab this add. Now that I have two targets, I'm going to actually fucking grab the add. There we go. Now that I have two targets, I'm going to pop a cooldown, and I'm going to do my Berserk into Overpower. While the rampart is up, don't use reprisal or low blow. Let that rampart expire. So now it's about to expire. We're going to use our low blow on this one, and then use reprisal on the other one. And as soon as that expires, pop your thrill of battle. And you should know how to play uh, Warrior up to level 30 by now. And that should do. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you guys next time for our next video.